Hello and welcome to this video on DevOps Certification Roadmap for Absolute Beginners. My name is Shraddha. If you're a beginner looking to break into the world of DevOps or you're curious about DevOps certifications, then you have come to the right place. In this video, we'll start by explaining what DevOps is and its key principles. Next, we'll discuss the benefits of obtaining DevOps certifications and how they can boost your career. Then we'll outline the essential prerequisites you need before pursuing certifications, such as basic software development knowledge and familiarity with IT operations. Finally, we'll provide a step-by-step -step guide to help you achieve your certifications from building foundational skills to selecting the right certification path and preparing for your exams. And at the end of this video, I have a bonus tip for you that can ease out your way to get that DevOps certification. So without any further ado, let's get started. What is DevOps? Before we talk about certification, it's important to understand what DevOps is all about. DevOps is a set of practices and tools designed to increase an organization's ability to deliver applications and services at high velocity. It combines software development, which is dev, with IT operations called ops, aiming to shorten the development life cycle and provide continuous delivery. Now let's look at key concepts to cover. Number one, automation. Automating repetitive tasks like testing, deployment, and monitoring. Number two, collaboration. Bridging the gap between development and operations team. Number three, Continuous integration, continuous delivery, which is CICD. Ensuring faster and more reliable delivery of software. Why should you pursue a DevOps certification? With the rise of cloud computing and agile methodologies, organizations are increasingly looking for professionals who understand how to manage complex systems and automate processes efficiently. DevOps certifications are a great way to prove your skills and stand out in a competitive job market. The key benefits include, first, it demonstrates your DevOps expertise to employers. Next, it provides a structured learning path for beginners and also enhances your career opportunities and salary potential. There are some prerequisites for DevOps certifications. Before you dive into DevOps certifications, it's essential to have some foundational knowledge. You don't need to be an expert, but these skills will set you up for success in the certification process. Some of the key prerequisites are basic understanding of software development. Knowledge of programming languages like Python, Java or JavaScript is useful. Second is Linux fundamentals. Since many DevOps tools and servers are Linux based, knowing the basics of Linux command is essential. Third is version control. Familiarity with Git and GitHub is crucial for collaborating on code and managing code versions. Next is cloud computing. Understanding cloud platforms like AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud is increasingly important for DevOps roles. Next, we have networking and security basics. Basic networking concepts and security practices, especially related to cloud computing, will be beneficial. Now let's talk about the DevOps certification roadmap. I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide. Step one, learn the DevOps fundamentals. Your first step is understanding the core concepts of DevOps. You need to learn the fundamental principles and practices that DevOps promotes, such as CICD, infrastructure as code, and automation. There are a few learning areas in DevOps like Agile, CICD, version control, monitoring, and collaboration. Familiarize yourself with popular DevOps tools like Git, Jenkins, Docker, and Kubernetes. Free resources like Upgrad's free courses can provide introductory courses on DevOps principles, which would help you build a solid foundation. Click on the link above to enroll in the courses for free. Step two, get hands-on with DevOps tools. Once you understand the basics, it's time to get hands-on with some essential DevOps tools. Tools like Git, Jenkins, Docker, and Kubernetes are at the heart of DevOps practices. 
having hands-on experience with these tools is key to passing the certification exams. Key learning areas here would be Git, learning version control basics, branching and merging. Second is Jenkins, automate your build and deployment pipelines. Third is Docker, get familiar with containerization and Docker's basic commands. Next is Kubernetes, learn how to manage containerized applications at scale. A few recommended resources can be the official documentation of Docker, Kubernetes and Jenkins. Step 3. Take a DevOps certification training course, which can be around 6 to 9 months. To solidify your knowledge and prepare for certification, enrolling in a structured training course is a very good idea. Many certification offer courses that are designed to take you step by step through all the key areas. Some popular DevOps certifications are AWS Certified DevOps Engineer focuses on automating infrastructure and monitoring applications on AWS. Azure DevOps Engineer covers automating and managing Azure DevOps environments. Docker Certified Associate validates your knowledge of Docker containerization technologies. Next, we have Certified Kubernetes Administrator, which is CKA focuses on Kubernetes as a container orchestration platform. Next, we have DevOps Foundation, a beginner level certification for those new to DevOps. Step 4. Practice with real projects. To truly excel, it's important to apply what you have learned in real world scenarios. Work on DevOps projects, either on your own through a job or internship, where you can apply your skills in continuous integration containerization, and infrastructure management. Here are some project ideas. Build a CI-CD pipeline using Jenkins and GitHub. Set up a dockerized application and deploy it on a cloud service. Create a Kubernetes cluster to manage containerized applications. Some recommended resources are GitHub. Contribute to open source DevOps projects to get practical experience. Next, we have cloud free tiers. Use free tiers on AWS, Google Cloud, or Azure to practice setting up DevOps pipelines. Step 5. Take the certification exam and get certified. Once you feel ready and have hands-on experience with DevOps tools, take the certification exam. Make sure to review exam guides, practice with mock exams, and focus understanding the concepts thoroughly. Exam prep. Review key concepts for your chosen certification. Practice with mock exams or quizzes available online. Join forums like Reddit, Stack Overflow, or certification-specific communities to ask questions and share tips. Now, as promised, a bonus tip for you all. Imagine whatever we discussed in the video can be done with ease all at once. Yes, that's right, all at once. If you want to become a cloud professional and advance your career in one of the fastest growing fields, the Professional Certificate Program in Cloud Computing and DevOps is for you. This online program is designed for working professionals, providing practical skills and knowledge needed for cloud and DevOps roles. You can opt for additional AWS and Azure exam prep for an extra fee. Whether you're starting fresh or leveling up, this program will help you take your career to the next level in cloud computing and DevOps. So don't wait. Click the course link in the description to learn more. So that's your DevOps certification roadmap. From understanding the basics to getting hands-on with tools and finally passing your certification exam. This roadmap will guide you every step of the way. Remember, DevOps is a combination of knowledge and practical skills. So stay consistent and keep practicing. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you have any questions or need advice on specific certifications, feel free to drop a comment below. Best of luck on your DevOps journey and I'll see you in the next video.